trapped him in front. They've gone up appealing here. Yes, and Raza having none of it. They can go up if they deem this has trapped him in front. What are you going to see on not out? Pitch outside off, impact in line, wicket umpire's call. Hassan, stay with your original signal. Stand by. You're on screen. Please signal. Oh, what a review and what a decision. It is a game of a very, very fine margins. And Barbarazam off the mark in a very typical Barbarazam style. Gets the outer half of the bat and that ball races into the fence. Wasn't in control, Mohammed Rizwan, but gets off the mark with the boundary. Off at the outside edge, this one. Look at that seam position, perfect. And gets enough bat on that. Once again, across the stumps, this time much more in control. A welcome boundary in a controlled fashion. Back to back now here for Mohammed Rizwan. This time wrapped in front again and given. Faisal Afridi raises the finger. New Zealand draw first blood. What are you going to see an out? Pitch outside off. Impact in line. Wicket sitting. You're on screen. Please signal. An excellent effort from the man in red, Faisal Afridi. He was given it out and gets eight tonight of ten. Pakistan lose their first for 14. Away from the diving Jimmy Nisham. Once again, the outside edge of the bat. Barbarazam gets a boundary. On the charge, in the middle and into the fence. Fakhar Zaman off with the boundary. Once again into the middle, what a strike that is. He's returning the favour with two boundaries back to back. Cleaned him up. Picks up the prize scalp of the opposition skipper. Barber goes for nine. It's Adam Mill, he's got his second. He's a fantastic player and in his 100th game, Adam Mill. He's been excellent tonight, Adam Mill. And Baba Razam has to go for nine. 30 for two. And Free swings it. Couple of bounces into the fence. Well, sometimes this is what can get the momentum going in an innings. A rare mistake from New Zealand. No ball from Adam Mill. Yeah, this time he's uh, been punished because that had width on it. All he had to do is just swing that bat and just goes flying over a point. Oh. But he also would know or would tell the inform the bowlers where to ball at to certain batters. This one just went right through Latham and all the defenses offered by Fakhar Zaman. He'll be a very important man to have. Fakhar Zaman trying to be aggressive as usual, just misses out on them. So does Tom Latham. And scoots right to the boundary for four. His width again, and he marches down the wicket, this young man, Siam Ayub. And he picks up another boundary. Yeah, he just threw his bat at it. And it just flies over. It's just a commitment. You show that you uh, made up your mind that you want to go for that boundary. Oh, he's got underneath that one. It was flighted. The invitation was given. And Simon, you've dispatches that way past that boundary at long on. And trying to read the game of cricket, perhaps he predicted that he said he's going to toss this one a bit more on the air. And he is set now, got a good judge of the pace of this wicket, and he's hit it high, high into the stand. Oh, is there another one? 
How good was that? It was right on the toes. A lot of wrist in that, and he dispatches that for second maximum in the over. Halfway through, 10 overs gone. It's 91 for two. 190 was the good score. And that is absolutely brilliant. Gave himself room, the left-hander over extra cover, goes all the way. And after this delivery, there'll be nine overs remaining. Thrashed away and go all the way, outside off stump. And he's helped it on, and it's gone for a maximum. 11 down, 107 for two. Vindra under pressure. Now one thing's for sure, he's not going to try and turn the ball, he's just going to angle it away. Oh, direct hit! <laughs> well, a moment of brilliance, a direct hit. Edge and gone. Extra bounce, extra zip off the surface. Matt Henry gets rid of Shadab. Exactly what New Zealand need at this stage. Unfortunately, it's not Fakir Zaman. It's Shadab Khan, who was looking good at the crease. And he's going to go. It was the bounce. Beautiful delivery. See, movement beats him all hands up. Just keep rolling, keep rolling. Roll back one more time. Yeah. That is a superb. Ball drilled down the ground. Nobody has a chance to cut that off. And goes leg side, chance, chance and out. The sweep in the air, Sodi gets the wicket. Bakken Zaman, he takes a risk. Was it a risk that was needed at this stage of the game? Well, now Pakistan have lost 56 for four in the last 30 balls. Nice time, nicely. That's right of the middle and has been drilled down the ground for a boundary. Over pitch, hit hard by Fahim. has been drilled through the offside. Stand and deliver for Imad Vaseem. His runs with the bat continue. Short top edge should be taken. Is taken. Extremely comfortable catch by Matt Henry. Jimmy Nisham picks up his first. Not quick pace, slower pace. You can see here, Jimmy Nisham out the back of the hand, hard into the wicket, done with pace, and he skies it high. This has been into the leg side. Hit high. Is it long enough? Oh, what a brilliant effort. They just need to confirm that that foot was in contact with the boundary or not. Yes, keep rolling, keep rolling. Matt Henry gets a hat-trick. The fourth New Zealand men cricketer to pick up a T20 hat-trick. And what a simply sensational effort on the boundary. Up and over the keeper. A short one into the surface. And they'll take this. Pakistan will take the boundary no matter where they come. Swing and swing hard. And that was a sweetly timed off the bat and gets the reward. And dispatches the last one of the over, over the fence. And 12 of Henry's last, for Pakistan 172 for eight. And Ben Lester, he goes full and he goes out of the park as well. Fahim, they are swinging for the hills now, Pakistan. Two sixes in the row. Doesn't connect, it should be very simple. It is. Lister picks up his first. A very simple cotton ball in the end. Fahim has to go. I'm sure the heart would have been racing lots in this over for being listed so early on in his career. Taking on the bouncer. Oh, 
Oh, sound of the bat. I don't think enough. Yes, not enough. Simple catch by Jimmy Nisham. Now, Pakistan are all out here. They've been bowled out for 182. And this has been really good effort by New Zealand. Yeah, that's not going to impress the umpire, but yes, he can. Pitch and line, impact and line, wicket sitting. Go back to on-field umpire, Aston, you need to reverse your decision, stand by. He can't believe it, I can't believe it. The edge didn't go past that slip and also beats third man. Just flies through. Nothing Fahim Ashraf could do to cut that off. Gone! Full and hits that off in middle. And Shahin Shafridi strikes with the wicket of Rayyan. A classic Shahin Shafridi delivery. Angling the ball in for a swing. Well, some assistance from Will Young's bat. He'll feel like he's a little bit unlucky. Just like that. And Darrell Mitchell can do that. Plays it through the line. Knows there's no protection in the deep. Earns himself a boundary. That's the way to go about it if New Zealand wants that momentum to carry on in the power play. Yeah, there you go again. Slightly short. And it'll be no problems whatsoever. So as a top order bat, you pick on your ballers and they found Fahim Ashraf to score against now. There you go again. Has he got hold of it? No. One too many. This time Harris Rove takes that catch. And Daryl Mitchell has to walk after two boundaries, offered him another one. That's exactly what Pakistan have done. Daryl Mitchell trying to take the attack on, trying to get a little bit of momentum into the innings. Important to get off the over with the boundary. Once again, this time once again into the gap. Similar treatment, back-to-back -back boundaries for Chapman. Oh, that's stuck in, probably inside edge. Oh, he's given him out. That's straight on as Faisal Afridi feels. What does Tom Latham think? Original to see an out. Pitch outside off. Impact in line. Wicket sitting. Faisal, stay with your original decision. Stand by. You're on screen. Yes, elevates that and gets a boundary that's deliberately done and it's well placed by Nisham. In fact, that's Chapman there. Slightly short. That'll be punished. Back to back boundaries. That's good work from Chapman. Reading the length very quickly. And it's not so much how hard he's hitting the ball, it's more about placement. You can see these just time the ball into the gap. There's a long on in place, there's a deep square in place, and he knows he just needs to pick the gap out. This time a big one. Dispatches that just around that mid-wicket area for a maximum there. This is a good over, probably targeting that, looking so good against that leg spin Chapman. Good shot this, a strength of his Mark Chapman. It was the wrong end, and he's picked it well. He stayed low, didn't he? Stayed low, kept his eyes on the ball. And went a long way over the boundary rope. That's a quick one. Just rough short, does it? Oh, he's gone. Zaman says he's gone. And Shadab has his man after being hit for a couple. What a way to make a comeback. Chapman going for it. He had the momentum. Trying to give himself room again. That must have a huge spin on that. He's trying to work that onto uh, the offside, and that's a good catch taken. It was dying on him. Made sure that the dive is right. Gets underneath that. That's Liberty, not so far away from the Gaddafi Stadium. On the landmark. Places in Lahore, that's pulled away nicely. No chance for square leg to cut it off. Nisham now gets amongst boundaries. 
He's picked that up, Nisham, and he'll clear that nice and easy over Barbarazum for a maximum. Good shot, full of delivery. The slow ball, rolling his fingers down the right-hand side of the ball, and Nisham was able to pick it. Good shot. Oh, wow. That is just flown straight to backward point. There's no way the fielder could have avoided that. He's gone straight into his lap. That was traveling. Yeah, catch is taken as well. So I'm satisfied and ready to make my decision for the big screen. Yeah, Sean Masu, that zero reaction time. Gone right through. That's what you get. You get rewarded when you're that accurate and you've got that pace. All the bowlers should be watching and taking note tonight. If you bowl fast and straight on the stumps, you give yourself a chance. This time around the wicket. And just too quick for Ravinda. That looks like a good shot. Has it got distance on it? No. Gone. Imad bowls his first over and gets a wicket straight away. Iftikhar takes the catch and Adam Milne has to walk. Even though it's late in the piece, thus a little bit of turn to straighten that. But didn't get to the pitch of the ball. Adam Milne skied it high. Ah! Oh, he's asking for a catch and he's been awarded. Two and two for Imad Basim. Matt Henry goes first ball. Does he go upstairs? Keep rolling frame by frame. Uh, please it here. Yeah, inside edge from uh, Matt Henry's bat. Imad Basim on a hat trick. Can we have two in one T20 international? First Matt Henry, now Imad. That's nice played well with the, the middle of the bat from Ben Lister. Harris throw knocks the stumps over and Pakistan breezes past New Zealand in this first T20I. New Zealand fold out for 94 and Pakistan victors by 88 runs.